publishing. So again, what do publishers want? You want a publishing deal? What do they want? Let me explain to you what publishing is quickly because like I said, a lot of people don't know what publishing is, even people that work at publishing companies. So there are two parts of a song. There's the recording. So if you're an artist and you're playing your guitar and singing into a microphone, that's the recording of the song and that's what the record labels sell. That's what you put up on iTunes, right? Then you've got the songwriting part. So that's not the recording. That's just you writing the song. It doesn't matter who releases it. That's the songwriting part, right? The songwriting part is what the publishers are interested in. So they're the publishing side, the songwriting side. The recording side is the record label side. Right, So publishers make money when a CD is sold because the record label has to pay a royalty to the publisher every CD is sold, every time the song's played on radio, and if there's ever a massive sync. Right, So what do publishers want? They want hit writers because they don't necessarily care that it's you releasing the songs. And for most Australian artists, it is the case. They write the songs and then they release them. But they don't care if you release it or not. They just want the hit song and then they can get somebody else to release it or you might write for somebody else and they might release it and it might be a huge song, right? They want hit songs. They want the song smashed on radio. They want a lot of records sold and when those things happen, usually the big sinks come which are TV ads, movies, etc, etc. So, there are two ways you can get a publishing deal. Again, one that's within your control and one which is a bit more speculative. The one that is within your control is actually getting a hit song. Now, you might say, Luke, that's ridiculous. You can't control that. I say wrong. As an artist, you might not be able to control that. But as a songwriter, you absolutely can swing the odds in your favor. If you are writing with other artists four, five times a week and you're writing, at the end of the year, you write with maybe 30 different artists. I can guarantee you the odds of one of those artists getting a Triple J hit or getting a commercial radio hit away are a lot higher than if you only wrote with yourself. You write with enough people, enough unknowns, enough well-knowns, just write with whoever you can write. Someone is eventually going to get a song away and if you have a cut on that record, you write half of that song with that person and you own half the publishing, you can go to a publisher and go, hear that song on Triple J that's banging away? I wrote half that song. If you're a recording artist and your own song gets smashed on Triple J, you can go to a publisher and go, hear that song on Triple J? Yeah, it's mine, but I also write it. I'm a hit writer, right? And then you start to get some publishing deals. So if you want a publishing deal, start co-writing. Co-writing is king. Co-write with as much people as you can. The other more speculative way is the kind of the way the band The Script got a publishing deal. So they actually wrote their debut record completely as songwriters. They didn't even intend to be a band and they submitted it to a publisher and they said, look, we don't actually have any hits, but if you listen to all these songs that we wrote, they are hits. Anyone could release these songs and they would be smashes. And the person at the publishing company listened to those songs and agreed with them and signed them right away. Now, eventually, they just decided to release all the songs themselves and proved to be right. They were hits, but that wasn't the original way that the script intended to be a band. They just wanted to be a songwriting team. Now, if you listen to that first record, the first script record, you will hear that it's, regardless of what you think of the genre or the style of music, it's all killer, no filler. Every song is magic and perfectly written. Again, that's the more speculative way to get a publishing deal. If you want a publishing deal and you're not successful approaching publishers with the songs you've currently written, start co-writing like a maniac. That's within everyone's control. You can go and hit up artists on Triple J on Earth, other Grow My Music students, and we'll tell you how to connect into the Grow My Music family at the end. It's very, very easy. Okay, we're (laughs) ready.